Good evening on this Veterans Day. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Ty Quinones. Now today events, they were held from coast to coast to recognize those who have served our country. From parades to somber services, their efforts for America will never be forgotten. And while today is about honoring our veterans, one big question still looms. Are we selling them short? A new report from the Department of Veterans Affairs says there are currently 49,000 vacant positions at VA clinics and hospitals across the country. And 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears has been chronicling issues with the local VA and now shows you Nevada is no exception. Crunching the numbers between the VA and private sector medical care always has the VA coming up short. It's not that VA hospitals and clinics don't want to pay doctors more. They can't due to a federal salary cap. It's such a large disparity. The VA says specialists can often make double in the private sector than what they'd make at the VA. So the comparatively low salaries lead to a lack of qualified applicants. And though things have improved over the past couple of years, the VA still can't compete. That could impact wait times for veterans seeking the health care they were promised. Here in Southern Nevada, new patients needing primary care could have to wait as long as 33 days for an appointment, but returning patients can be seen much sooner, between one day and a week. Most mental health appointments have less than a seven-day wait time, while women's health appointments are between one and three weeks out. In June, we obtained the number of vacancies here in Las Vegas. The Southern Nevada VA is approved for 3,160 positions. That includes 400 new positions added in just under two years. The VA says 517 are in various stages of hiring. 259 of those will start soon or are awaiting final clearance. That leaves 258 vacancies the VA is actively trying to fill in Las Vegas. But the other issue is retention, keeping the staff the VA already has. Things need to change. The culture there needs to change. Yes, absolutely. The VA is a numbers company. <laughs> There's no other way of looking at it. Our investigation as recently as April detailed claims from more than a dozen current and past VA doctors and employees, people who describe a culture of fear at the Southern Nevada VA. Morale was terrible. Um, People were unsure whether they were going to have a job. Physical medicine and rehabilitation. In Southern Nevada, Dr. Brian Werner left the VA earlier this year after he says VA leadership not only failed to address problems he raised, but turned the tables and investigated him. You're supposed to be transparent. You're supposed to have these agencies and whistleblowers and all these things you can file, but the reality is it really doesn't work like that. And people are afraid. To come forward. He and other doctors say patients can get caught in the crossfire. When I've had patients that I've taken care of that were, not for want of a better word, discriminated against because they had somebody who was advocating for them. And that's a sad situation. I, I hate seeing our veterans be short shifted. The VA sent a statement saying the best indicator of adequate staffing levels is not vacancies, but veteran access to care. However, if the open positions are caregivers, then access can be compromised. We reached out to get an exact updated number of openings currently in the Southern Nevada VA, but because of the holiday, we were not able to get that. Darcy Spears 13 investigates.